Okay, this was a requested video by few. As you would see my previous videos on how to flash a light on a BenQ, I had this kit. This is the 360 USB Pro if you're not familiar, and a lot of you had questions on how it worked, what it does, and the reason for it. They're fucking loonies, aren't they? Okay, as you can see here, I have my basic setup. Now, acquiring all these parts is a little bit costly, but I guarantee you, you'll be able to flash any fat Xbox that you please and get the keys off of your slim drive through this. It is around 80 to 100 US dollars, depending on where you live, depending on the setup you have. Okay, so here's a little bit of a hard part on how you actually set it up. Now, you're going to need a Molex power connector, and what is that? It's those four little pin connectors for power you find inside your PC if you open it. I guarantee you, you have one somewhere. Every PC has one. They have to You'll find your cord with the four slots on it. Now, before you plug it in, you want to make sure that it is in the off position, because if it is in the on, you will create arcage, which can fry your board and turn your computer off, or possibly damage internal parts which you don't want. If you buy this kit, yours may look a little different. If you have the CK3 Lite, this is the CK3 Pro. And if you don't have this type of cord for the CK3 Pro version 3 or Probe version 3, you should have gotten this cord if you bought it, if you didn't contact customer support in which you bought it. And if you don't have that type of cord, you'll probably have this one. Now what you essentially want to do is find the power connector right there and plug it in. Make sure you get a nice firm connection, make sure you put it in the right way, not upside down. Again, you can risk frying the board. You want to hook your drive up. Now, uh, I've disassembled this drive so it looks a little odd. It's a slim drive. It, no matter what drive you have on your Xbox, they all have these two ports in the back. Your 12-pin power connector. Now make sure you hook that in the right way. And it is snug. Now if you buy the 360 USB Pro, you're going to get a SATA cord. It should come with one. If it didn't, again, you got to contact who you bought it from. Plug it in to the back of the drive. Now this instance is for people with light on drives with a fat Xbox. You're going to need the probe, the CK3 probe version 3. What you do is you find the way that this little power connector lines up with your probe, put it in very gently, you don't want to risk bending the pins in there, this is a fragile piece of hardware. Okay, now you got that, if you don't know how to flash your light on, just go watch my video here in the top right corner on how to do it. Okay, now that you got your CK3 Pro hooked up to your drive along with a probe, if you have one in your SATA connector, you're going to need to hook up your 360 USB Pro, this is very easy. It should come with two cords, one being a gray USB. 2.0 to USB mini and one like this. Now what you want to do, find a USB slot on your computer like usual, plug it in. Now on one end of the 360 USB Pro, you're going to find a hole right there next to the power which you plug your USB into. This should light up like this. Now I've really never had to put in the other cable here for power. I'm not sure how that part works, but uh, if you plug this white USB in and it's not powering up, try using the black power cable in addition to it. Now here comes probably one of the easiest steps. Take one end of this and the other end of your SATA, plug it in. Now what you want to do, after you know that the connections are good, you just want to unplug this, plug it back in again. That way you can see your drive. On your CK3 Pro or CK3 Lite, depends what you're using. You want to find the on switch, and there we go. It should just turn right on. Now, one of the things I like about the CK3 Pro versus the Lite is it has a USB on it. In case your 360 USB somehow encounters damage, you can use the CK3 Pro and hook that up to the USB slot. If you have the Hitachi drive, it has the mode B on it. Now, here's your eject button. All of them have it on there somewhere. If you're using a CK3 Probe version 3 during this, or version 2, it should power on just like this. Be very careful, it doesn't touch anything electrostatic or anything with a positive charge as it can destroy your CK3 Probe. So there you go, that is uh, how to set that up because some people are still confused on how to do it. It's exactly what it looks like, they've designed it to be that easy. 
Now, again, this is for people who are serious about flashing, whether or not you want to make money off of it, or uh, flash friends consoles. The purpose of this setup is because it is an accurate flash. There are no headaches with this, there's no read errors or freezing during a flash with the 360 USB Pro. As some of you may have had issues in the past when you flash your light on, it suddenly freezes and then you gotta unbreak your drive. This eliminates all that. Now, you're gonna ask me, can I flash a slim with this? And the answer is yes, but you will need extra parts and depending on the type of board you have inside of your 360 drive, you know, there's two types in the slim drives now, the wind bond, which is a very, very complicated tutorial and process on how to flash it and get it unlocked. It requires a Dremel tool, a lighter, and drilling into the board, versus an MXIC where all you need is a Sputnik 360 unlock tool, require one trace cut, and uh, it'll be unlocked. And another question, can I flash my normal fat console with this? Yes, this will work with just about any drive. I have both tutorials on how to flash your light on, and your BenQ in the description of this video. It's a very easy process with this 360 USB Pro. Like I said before, this is more for people who are serious because this, I'm not gonna lie, it's an expensive setup. I mean, not too many people want to spend a hundred dollars on a flashing kit. Now another question is, will this work on a laptop? Yes, it will. This was actually designed to eliminate having a faulty chipset or having to buy an extra SATA card for your laptop. This is just a very easy, convenient way of flashing on the laptop. And that's about it. That's how to set it up. Those are the common questions answered. If you have any more, feel free to ask me on Twitter, twitter.com slash itslupo, or you can leave a comment down below in the video. It'd be appreciated if you favorited and liked the video. Until next time, I got some special stuff coming out for you guys in the next week, so see ya.